Hello there, welcome back to Architect Interview Question Series from Knowledge Powerhouse. And let's go to our next question. Question is, what is a content delivery network? It's the short form is CDN. So what is the content delivery network? So CDN stands for Content Delivery Network. Uh, I mean, as the name suggests, it is used to deliver the content over the network. And some people call it Content Distribution Network also. So CDN, in reality, if you see the picture, it's more like a network of servers and data centers that are used to distribute over multiple locations the content, right? You can dis distribute the content in different locations or geographies. Let's say, I mean, in this picture, you have a server in the USA. And from there, I mean, you have to distribute to South America, Europe, Africa, Australia, Asia. So you can distribute the content through different, different uh, data centers and network of servers to all these geographies. So without, I mean, CDN is also considered as a layer in the internet ecosystem. And without CDN, the performance of uh, content distribution is quite poor. So if you see this diagram, here you have like uh, lesser number of nodes but all of these users they have to if you see the circle with the human face they have to go to the server which is in like a different continent to get all this information the content that takes a lot of time whereas if you use cdn in this case these users they are just going to the their nearby nodes so like i mean in asia and australia both of them are going to the nearest node where that content copy of that content is there. Similarly, Europe and Africa, they are reaching out to some central, uh, like you know, not central, but like nearby node for their content needs. So that way you can improve the performance. They don't need to go to the source always. So the main purpose of Exceedian is to provide high availability and increased performance. These are the two things because Increased performance is because you are getting to the from the nearest node. High availability is that because you have replicated it across multiple regions. Now, even if your source goes down, the other like nodes which are nearby in the region, they are up and they can still deliver the content. So it does it by distributing the service in such a way that it is relatively closer to the end users and there are replicas. So how do let's go into some history that during the 1990s, when the internet was like you know still uh, uh, coming up, the, there were performance bottlenecks in the internet because of the low bandwidth. So since bandwidth was low, internet was very slow. These gigabit kind of pipes were not set up. With these, uh, due to that, uh, there was a demand for something, and then that led to the creation of CDNs. So low bandwidth was the reason when CDNs were developed. And then over the time, CDNs became quite popular. And mainly they were used to distribute the internet content like graphics, images, videos, live streams, software downloads. If you see, when you try to download software from some site, it says, oh, from which uh, like you know nearest server you want to do it. So I mean, that way, it doesn't overload the source system. So you go to the nearest location where the replica of that software is there. From there, you download it. So that is the concept behind CDN. So in CDN, there are some content producer companies like news websites, video streaming. So they are the one, or like if you see Netflix is there, or some CNN website is there, like or some image sites are there. So they are all the content producers. Then what they do is that they go to some CDN operator and they use their services to deliver the content to the end users of that content. So if CNN or like, you know, Netflix, they have to distribute. So using some CDN operators, they distribute their content to the worldwide consumers. And then CDN operators, they pay to some sort of like, you know, amount to internet service providers. So there are ISPs, which are local to a region, ISPs and to them or carriers or network operators to them cdn operators will pay some extra money so that they can host the cdn servers in their data centers so with isps you can have separate cdn servers and on those cdn servers the content is distributed to the users and cdn is also a broad term which is used for 
defining different types of content delivery services. So some of these services are like live video streaming, software downloads, web and mobile content acceleration. Like sometimes your site is slow. If you use a CDN, you can make it much faster like by accelerating your content. And then licensed CDNs are there. Even there are transparent caching, load balancing. So these are like different content delivery services that can be used in content delivery network. So mainly in software architecture, we have a principle where uh, what we do is that the content is or static content is sent closer to the consumer, right? So that like, I mean, they can get it much faster. Whereas because static content has like less chances of changing due to that, you can always send it closer to the consumer near a CDN node so that consumers can consume it much faster. All right, uh, that's all on the topic of CDN. And if you have another question or some other queries, doubts, so do post it in the comment section. And if you have some feedback, we'll really appreciate your feedback in the comment section. We'll be happy to answer it for you. Thank you everyone and have a great day.